Hi guys, so today I'm here uh, with a TBR readathon announcement thing that I did not plan on doing. But I woke up this morning and there was a whole announcement over on Sam's channel and she's co-hosting it. Anyway, it's called the Authorathon Readathon. It was created by Joanna and is co-hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. Both channels will be linked down below. That being said, I'm going to get right into it because I am losing my voice and I don't know how much time I have left with these vocal cords. Authorathon will be from April 18th through April 24th. You can either read through one author that you have on your shelf and just continuously read their books throughout the duration of the readathon, or you can do the challenge, which is what I will be doing because I don't really have um, a lit, like a, a bunch of books by one author that I haven't already read. So the challenges are as follows, and I will be showing what I'm reading to go with the challenge. The first challenge is to read a book by one of your favorite authors, and this was kind of difficult because most of my favorite authors, I have read their books already. However, I've forgotten that I recently acquired another Susanna Kearsley book, so I will be reading The Firebird, or I'll be attempting to read The Firebird because it's kind of large. It is part two, I think it's considered a companion novel to The Winter Sea, which absolutely ruined my life and I was dead for like three days afterwards. So hopefully this one doesn't do quite as damaging a number on me, but we'll see. I'm really fragile. The next challenge is a new to you author. I What I'm going to be doing is not a new book by any means. However, I have um, a couple of books now by this author and I haven't read any of them. So I will be reading Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini. I'm really excited because it's Greek mythology and I'm trash for Arthurian mythology and Greek mythology. So I really, really hope this is good and it sounds really good. I know it involves the fates and I love anything to do with the fates. So hopefully this is a good one, but this is definitely a new to me author, but like I said, not a new book by any means. The second challenge is to give an author a second chance, and I'm going to be doing Atlantia by Ali Condi. The cover is torn off. I do work at a Barnes & Noble, and when our books cycle off the shelf, they're either sent back to the publisher, or in the case of some paperbacks, their covers are stripped off, but they are available for the employees to keep. So as ugly and unesthetically pleasing as it is, it was free and the only way I would get an Ali Condi book is if it was free because I could not get into Matched at all. So hopefully this is really different from what I can tell. It's, I think, mermaids or something like that or I think it's mermaids. So I, I anything to do with ocean I usually enjoy. So hopefully Atlantia will, uh, will be good will be better than my previous Ali Condi experience. The next challenge is a book written by more than one author. Um, and from what I can tell, you can also use ghostwriters in this, but the only, the only ghostwriter experience that I have is with James Patterson, and everybody who knows me personally knows that I am not a James Patterson fan, and thus will not be reading any more of his books. That being the case, I have decided to go with The Shattered World because one, I've been needing to read this for a very long time, and two, it is written by two authors, Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Now, Amy Kaufman was part of the duo that wrote Illuminae, and of course, Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner also wrote the book that came before The Shattered World, which was These Broken Stars, and that book just completely ruined my life as well. I was a mess. It hurt me in so many good ways. So I've been really hesitant to read this one. I think I've mentioned this in the video before, but yeah, this is what I have chosen for more than one author. The next challenge is to read a book from a debut author. Now it can be from either 2015 or 2016. I have chosen uh, The Mad Woman Upstairs by Katherine Lowell. I'm pretty sure that this is her debut novel. Let me see. Yeah, The M Mad Woman Upstairs is her first novel. I got this as an ARC a little while ago, and I know this book is out now already, and I'm really bad when it comes to reading ARCs, or at least I was. I'm trying to get better. But yeah, The Mad Woman Upstairs, as far as I know, has to do with, like, the Bronte estate 
and someone who's inherited a portion of it and doesn't know what to do with it because it's like this portion of their estate that has never actually been found. So basically, she's inherited um, a mystery, more or less. And anyway, I've been wanting to read this for a while. This is a debut author from, I think, 2016. I think it was the beginning of this year, but I could be wrong. It might have been the end of last year. But either way, this is my debut author choice, Katherine Lowell. <clears throat> and now the last challenge is to read a book from an author that is from a different continent than you. And I actually have two books in this pile already that are from authors that are from different continents. So I will be stacking that because I am not going to be surprised if I can make it, if I don't make it through this list. Let's be real. Amy Kaufman is from Australia, and Susanna Kearsley is from Canada. Susanna Kearsley is from Canada, which lies in the same continent as the United States. Anyway, Amy Kaufman is from a different continent. She is from Australia, which is not in North America. Thank you, Ashlyn. Thank you, Geography. And you can also thank my cold addled brain for that ridiculous thing that just happened. So that is my TBR announcement for this authorathon readathon. Like I said, it runs from April 18th through April 24th. So Godspeed, I really hope I can make it through this. Well, please bear with me if I don't make it through everything that I had intended to, but here's to hoping. And again, sorry, I'm sick, I'm nasally, I sound weird, and I'm also kind of just, ugh, I feel gross. So I hope this video was, uh, a video that was worth watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let's be friends. I love having friends, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!